Good afternoon, Miles. Thank you for taking the time uh, to talk to us today about the great partnership that we have between yourself and Pet Supplies Plus and Manhattan Associates. Yeah, good afternoon to you too, Heather. I'm very excited to be here to talk with you about some exciting news uh, based on our partnership. Great. Well, before we get too far into it, Miles, could you tell us a little bit about Pet Supplies Plus and what makes your company so special to your customers? Sure, happy to. We're America's favorite neighborhood pet store. We have over 500 locally operated locations throughout the U.S. We've been in business and franchising for over 30 years. Our stores are conveniently located in the neighborhoods and we tend to call our customers neighbors. You know, one of the things that we, we try to do is provide quality pet products for our neighbors' pets. Uh, and we try to do that and minus the hassle for our neighbors. You know, we minus the hassle for our neighbors by being able to provide exceptional service, well-stocked stores, services. Uh, we also have a convenient uh, online curbside pickup offering, as well as uh, delivery for many locations. We pride ourselves on looking at things through the lens of our neighbors and how it minuses the hassle and provides value for them. That is super and it sounds very appealing. Um, now, Pet Supplies Plus recently made the decision to be the first organization to deploy Manhattan Active Warehouse Management, um, which is our new versionless warehouse management solution. Um, as you thought through this, uh, was Pet Supplies Plus already thinking about a broader move to the cloud before you made this decision? Well, Heather, as you know, we already run a number of applications uh, in the cloud. So considering options to shift our supply chain applications to the cloud, uh, you know, was something that, uh, you know, we thought was very important. Since we were also looking at an upgrade of our current Manhattan Associates warehouse management application, as well as our DFIO application, it only made sense to consider a cloud-based option. In addition to that, based on conversations with Manhattan, uh, you know, they, they were at a point that, you know, we could consider it. So, uh, you know, we made the decision to move forward with the Manhattan uh, Active Warehouse Management application. Well, we are very glad you did. <laughs> what benefits do you expect you'll see from moving to a, a cloud-native warehouse management solution? You know, we think there's, there's a number of benefits. You know, typically companies are always looking at that next upgrade cycle and the planning for it, <clears throat> you know, the maintenance and IT overhead and support, as well as the fact that those upgrade cycles to get new features and functions take some time to, 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 to work through. So as a result, a versionless cloud-based solution allows us to move very rapidly. And quite frankly, uh, it also gives us the opportunity to, to leverage some of the, or minimize some of the learning curves and training that's associated with uh, traditional applications. Got it, Miles. So we just talked about Manhattan Active Warehouse Management uh, being versionless. Um, with new features rolled out regularly throughout the course of the year, you've been in supply chain industry for a few decades. Uh, what does the prospect of never having to upgrade your WMS again mean to you? Yes, Heather, I've been around for a while. I have the bumps, bruises, and scars to prove it. I've used Manhattan Associates warehouse management applications for many years. You know, we've been very pleased with it here and uh, has always served us well. The ability for Manhattan to be able to deliver valuable new WM features on a frequent and ongoing basis without enduring the normal upgrade uh, process is extremely exciting. Quite frankly, is a game changer. That coupled with the fact of the overall lower total cost of ownership, you know, really, uh, you know, caused us to make the decision to move forward with it. Well, I certainly understand the, the TCO angle here, Miles. Um, are there specific opportunities that you see uh, that will drive benefit and value in particular with the new version for Pet Supplies Plus? I mean, you know, beyond the, uh, the overall total cost of ownership and uh, on-premise or, uh, you know, uh, hardware and so forth, uh, the ability to be able to leverage the application to get frequent updates and get new features and functions on a scheduled basis and then take advantage of them, not to mention some of the new equipment, mobile type devices and so forth, minimizes the learning curve for our team members. Uh, our team members have found uh, the equipment to be very in, uh, intuitive and really we haven't had uh, you know, any issues at all with them learning to adapt to it. So we think that 
beyond the total cost of ownership, the productivity improvements that uh, you know we're anticipating, as well as the you know minimization of learning curve and so forth, makes it uh, you know very exciting. Yeah, we, we are very excited about that element of this solution, being able to onboard new associates quickly and with minimal training, it's very important. Now, uh, as Pet Supplies Plus embarked on this program uh, to transition to Manhattan Active Warehouse Management, um, your team experienced some challenges that are a little bit out of the norm for your typical warehouse management implementation, didn't you? We did, uh, right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, there's nothing that could add more of a challenge to an upgrade project like this. Uh, you know, fortunately, the Manhattan Services Organization, as well as you know the overall project team here at Pet Supplies Plus, pivoted very quickly to be able to address uh, you know uh, the challenges and issues associated with it. Uh, and as a result, uh, you know we've been able to keep the project uh, you know on time uh, and you know went live as planned. Yeah, I think the teams have done a great job. Are there certain elements that you noticed that they did differently through this implementation? Well, you know, certainly there were things that we did differently. I mean, as an example, we had to quickly, you know, uh, pivot and morph into more of a virtual environment, uh, probably more so than any of us would have liked. But leveraging things like cameras and uh, video and screen shares and everything else between the collective teams, I think we were able to to do an, uh, an exceptional job of being able to work through what would have already been a challenging process. And, uh, you know, really it was the attitude of uh, the collective group, uh, and it was really their effort and commitment of all, all the stakeholders that uh, was able to keep us on track and, uh, you know, deliver uh, the implementation when we said we would. I think, Miles, the teams did work really well together, and it's a testament to the partnership that we have had between our companies and our teams uh, for a long time. Um, any any parting comments or words of wisdom on how you think this pandemic might shape supply chain and the systems that support it going forward? You know, if the coronavirus pandemic has taught us anything, it's the importance of supply chains being able to be scalable and flexible and deliver on customer promises, especially in times like these. Those systems have to also be able to scale quickly uh, and meet critical mass when necessary. We believe that we're well positioned with the Manhattan Active Supply Chain Solutions to adapt to those changes. Uh, we feel that we've made the, the right decision and have been very excited about it to this point. Uh, you know, we also look forward to sharing more of our story with people uh, once the, you know, the, the pandemic is over with. We are very grateful uh, to you for your willingness to do that. Thank you again for your time today. And, and one more time, uh, thanks for your partnership with Manhattan Associates. Same here, Heather. We, we're very excited about it. We think that this is a, a game changer for us in the industry and we're excited to be part of it and looking forward to leveraging it going forward. We're glad to be here with you. Thanks, Miles. Thanks.